Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to talk about 10 gigabit networking because this is a topic that has been sort of touched on in the past but not really on this channel. So we're going to talk about how to use the PCIe slots because I think some people are a little confused as to what to do with a PCIe X2 slot in particular. If we take a look at the block diagram for the X670 or its master, you can see it has the X16 slot at the top, it has an X4 slot, and then it has an X2 slot. So this X4 means that it has four electrical lanes, electrically wired PCI slots. So it looks like a physical X16 slot, but it only has four lanes for bandwidth. And likewise, this bottom slot here, PCIe X2, this one only has two lanes. So that means that it's half of the four, four lanes that the top slot offers. So typically the four slot here uh, is used with a Thunderbolt add-in card or a 4K60 capture card, basically anything that's four lanes compatible. If we take a look at this Asus XG C100C, this is a 10 gigabit RJ45 interface card or a NIC. So this thing uses PCI 3.0 for lanes. But the thing is, when these 10 gigabit cards first came out, they used to be PCIe Gen 2. So if you were going to run 10 gigabit networking as an add-in card like this, for example, you needed to have four lanes of PCIe 2.0. Now, if we go back to this motherboard from Gigabyte, so the X670E Aorus Master has a, on the chipset down here, you can see it has a 3.0 bus with a switch that allows PCIe two lanes or two additional SATA ports for a total of six SATA ports. So we're not concerned with those SATA ports, we're just going to ignore that for now. So let's let's just take this into account. So we got two lanes of 3.0 bandwidth. So the 3.0 with two lanes is roughly equal to four lanes of 2.0. So what that means is if we connect a four lane 10 gigabit network card like this Marvell a Quantia 107 chip from 2017. So it's kind of old. There's a newer one. We're going to talk about that in a moment. But this can get the full bandwidth for 10 gigabit LAN with just two lanes of Gen 3 as opposed to four lanes of Gen 2. You really only need two lanes of Gen 3 on a 3.0 enabled device. Now, if this network card was only 2.0, then we would need all four of the lanes, but because it supports 3.0, we only need two lanes. So in theory, if we plug this in to this two-way slot, we should be able to get a 10 gigabit LAN port working. In contrast to the X670 Aorus Master, what Gigabyte did with the Z790 Aorus Master is they went and they included a Marvell 10 gigabit LAN card. What we will find is that what Gigabyte did is they took a PCIe 3.0 bus and they're running two lanes of that 3.0 bus to a Marvell AQC 113C. So this is a newer 10 gigabit network card compared to the one featured in that ASUS add-in card, but it should serve the exact same purpose. So you can see this X2 indicates that it's two lanes of 3.0 bandwidth. So even the motherboard manufacturer only took two lanes from the chipset to enable this 10 gigabit network card. So what I've actually done is I have installed this card in that X2 slot that we were talking about a moment ago and I have a CAT6 cable running from that Ethernet port over to the Intel motherboards AQC 10 gigabit LAN. So if we look down here now in Task Manager what I have is I'm actually remote desktoped in on the left here uh, that's why you can kind of see it's a little bit a little bit distorted but not really uh, but we're remote desktop in over this 10 gigabit link. And you can see we have a 10 gigabit base Marvell on the Intel, and then we have the 10 gigabit base Asus card, which is based off of the Marvell AQC network card. So it's essentially the same thing. Um, just to kind of show the connectivity, we have a 10 gigabit LAN connection here between the two PCs. They're directly connected to each other over a CAT6 cable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a file speed test 
to kind of see what sort of speeds we get when we push a bunch of files. So I have a lot of YouTube videos that were made for the channel that are already on the channel, but I have the raw like film footage from the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that over to a shared folder on the Intel system over here. So this is the Intel shared folder and we're going to drag and drop my OBS folder which is roughly 104 gigabytes of footage into the Intel computer from the AMD computer. So you guys can see here that's going to load this up and we should see it says it's going to take about two minutes and it's transferring 104 gigabytes. 10 gigabit speeds are roughly about uh, somewhere on the order of one, the theoretical maximum is 1.25 gigabytes per second. And you can see this is the sending and this is the receiving. So you can see the peak as it, there's, there's different files, so it's going to have peaks and valleys where it's changing from different files. After it sends a file, then it starts sending another file. So you can see we're getting close to the maximum of 10 gigabits up there. So it's about, you know, 90% link utilization. And this is done on two lanes of PCI Gen 3. At least for a home NAS or a home network, there are benefits if you work with a lot of different data sets and a lot of different files that you want to either access from a centralized NAS or a centralized home server or media PC, etc. 10 gigabit networking does have some pretty clear benefits. So this is kind of bursty because like I said earlier, the video files vary in size from like one gigabyte to four gigabytes uncompressed 4K, etc. for the channel. So that's kind of why you see these peaks and valleys as opposed to a direct transfer. Now what I'll do after this is I will try to transfer a single video from one of the live streams I did which is about 1.6 gigabytes and we're going to see how long it takes to transfer that file directly to the storage drive. But you can see this kind of shows that you don't need a four lane expansion slot provided you have PCI 3.0 two lanes. Okay, so that took about, what, two minutes? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop a 1.6 gigabyte of file into the Intel system from the AMD system again. So let's see, so you can see, bam, there we go. So that was 1.6 gigabytes, and that literally only took, you know, like one second to send that over. So I hope you guys found this video useful. I just wanted to make this video just to kind of show people like how you can make use of a random, what appears to be a kind of pointless two-lane PCI Express slot that's 3.0. So it turns out it's actually a very nice free slot, open slot, that can be used for 10 gigabit uh, networking. I think that's a, a excellent use case for this. Maybe there will be some capture cards in the future that our PCI 3.0 4K capture cards also could do 60 frames per second on two lanes of Gen 3 because all of the Aver Media and the Elgato 4K cards that exist today are PCIe 2.0 four lanes. So if we go to 3.0, you only need two lanes. Once again, I hope you guys found this video useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks.